Cougars, we couldn't be more excited to have you back here at Kennedy. It's been almost 10 months since we last left this building, and it's been a very difficult journey for all of us, but we are excited to have you back and look forward to the educational opportunities that we get to experience together for the next semester. Now that we're in the building and we have to uh, adhere to COVID procedures, we'll be doing some new things to make sure that you're safe while you're in the building. The first thing that we have to keep in mind is that we can't gather in large crowds. And so an important thing that we want to emphasize to you is that during passing times and before and after school, there cannot be gathering in the foyer or other areas of the building. When you arrive in the morning, please come into the building. If you want to get breakfast, you go to the cafeteria. Otherwise, please report to your first or second period class and begin the day there. The drinking fountains, in order to stay safe, will be turned off while you're here, but the bottle fillers will remain on. So bring your bottle and fill it up. Now, you can drink water while you're in class or other beverages as well, as long as it's okay with your teacher, but you need to keep your mask on at all times. So a reminder that you can drink without removing your mask completely, and you need to put your mask back on when you are in the classroom or any time that you're in the building. And the mask needs to cover your nose and your mouth at all times. When you enter your classrooms, we have it equipped with hand sanitizer, so please make sure you sanitize in, keep your hands clean while you're in the classroom, and then proceed directly to your desk. As you can see, the desks are set up six feet apart in the classrooms, have a seat and remain six feet apart from all of your peers while we're in class. And of course, continue to wear your mask. Remember too, that you'll need your Chromebooks fully charged every day so that you can do your classwork while your teacher is teaching. If you're not feeling well, we of course want you to stay home, but if you're not feeling well while you're in school, we very much would like you to go to the clinic. You can stop on down here and the folks here at the clinic will take care of you. They'll help make sure that you're okay. And we have extra space and extra rooms this year for students who are ill so that they have the ability to stay away from everyone else. So if you're not feeling well while you're at school, please immediately report to the clinic and let them know what symptoms you're feeling. So lunch is going to be very different this year because as you can tell, we have removed the tables from the cafeteria and replaced them with desks that have been spaced out six feet. This will allow you to eat lunch in the cafeteria while removing your mask and remaining safe. Now, a couple of important points. First, you need to make sure that you know which line you want to go into. Check out the menu to see which station you're going to choose and then get into that line spaced six feet from the person in front of you and six feet from the person behind you. When you proceed through the line, make sure you sanitize in and make sure that you are clean and ready to go in that lunch line. Then proceed to a desk, have a seat while you're in the cafeteria and remain in your seat until the end of lunch. A couple of other tips. This year, lunches will not overlap each other, so you will not be dismissed from the cafeteria until the bell rings. Please remain in your seat until that happens. Secondly, when you do get up from your seat and take your trash to the garbage can, please turn your desk this way so that we know which desks to clean after each lunch. We'll clean each desk that's been turned and we'll have the cafeteria ready for the next lunch. When you have a release period from Kennedy, it's going to be extraordinarily important that you are able and willing to leave campus. We cannot allow students on release to remain here in the building because of COVID protocol. So either you have a study hall or a release. And if you have a release, you do need to leave the campus. The same thing goes after school. Students cannot gather and remain in the building or on the grounds after school is dismissed, except if they are here for a organized practice or event in the building. We ask that students all depart the campus at three o'clock when the bell rings. Cougars, we cannot be happier to have you back here at this building. It has been a long time and we are looking forward to your presence amongst us again. Treat each other with kindness and respect every single day that you're here. And as always, go Cougs.